Circuit Maze, how to play. The object of the game is to light up the designated beacons as indicated on the challenge card. Lay out the board and pick a challenge card. There are two legend cards that can be used to reference what the symbols mean. Set up the tokens on the board as indicated by the card. Tokens must be oriented identical to their image. If a token has a rotation symbol on it, then that token may be rotated in order to find the correct solution. Otherwise, the tokens may not be rotated. The starting tokens may not be moved. In the bottom left of the card is a list of all the tokens you must add to the grid to solve the puzzle. You may not add any more than this, and all the listed tokens must be used. The top left of the card shows you which lights need to be illuminated. If the symbol is faded with an X in it, then those beacons need to remain off to complete the challenge. The flow of electricity must go from the positive metal strip at the start battery, indicated as a plus, to any of the negative metal strips of the end token, as indicated as a minus. And there must be at least one beacon in between. If you run the current directly from start to end without a beacon, or if you have a parallel circuit that lights up a beacon but also bypasses the beacon, then that is called a short circuit and should be avoided. Short circuits in this game have a safety feature that results in the battery being slowly drained. However, in the real world, short circuits can be very dangerous. A blank challenge means you need to connect the circuit lighting up any lights without creating a short circuit. Beacons only light up when current flows into the positive side as indicated by the plus and out of the negative side as indicated by the minus. Current can only flow in one direction through these. If that direction is correct, then the light will illumine. The gray tokens carry current along their metal strip in either direction based on how they are oriented. The switch token allows you to move the lever to the side of the token for where the electricity will flow. The challenge card will indicate the multiple configuration objectives for each position of the switch. The correct solution will incorporate each switch location with different beacons illuminated while all the tokens remain in the same space. The bridge allows you to pass a current over a perpendicular strip without them touching each other. The blocker does not conduct the current and prevents other tokens from being placed in its location on the board. Complete the circuit while lighting up all the beacons without any short circuits to win the challenge card and advance to the next one. On the back of each card is its solution.